Hello YouTube and welcome to this episode of how it works. In this episode we'll be looking at how a carburetor works. We know that carburetor is the device which helps mix the petrol and air mixture correctly and send it to the engine. Uh, this was a time before the electronics became common and fuel injectors started coming in. Then all of the cars used one of these. Okay, when you open a carburetor, you can break it down into three pieces. One is the topmost part, which is sort of a plate. And then you have this middle section, which comprises of the petrol uh, tank, as well as your two holes uh, through which petrol and air flow. And then you have the third part, the base plate, where you have the accelerator linkages. The theory behind working of a carburetor is simple. You have this fat pipe which acts as an inlet. And so petrol comes in through the petrol pump, in, uh, through the inlet and stores itself in the reservoir. Now, I'll show the cross section of this for you. So, uh, petrol gets uh, stored in here and from here you have two holes one over here and the other over here i hope you can see them and uh, so you have these holes through which petrol goes into these jets and uh, air starts passing through this area and so petrol starts falling into this area so it mixes and it gets into the engine and to regulate the amount of uh, fuel air mixture coming in you have the accelerator cable that is you have this when I twist this then it opens further and as it opens further then there is less of blockage so more of petrol air mixture goes the engine revs uh, more and if you leave the accelerator then it closes and uh, so less of fuel air mixture goes and so the engine is idling the idle rpm is controlled by a screw over here if you look at this this is the uh, smaller portion okay the smaller one this is the bigger one and to the left side of the smaller one you have the screw which you rotate clockwise then it uh, when you tighten it that is you rotate it clockwise then it pushes the valve and so the valve opens further even at idle even at no rpm the screw pushes the valve and so you have more idle rpm on the other hand if you turn the screw anti-clockwise and loosen it then it starts closing and blocking the air inlet and so you'll have lesser rpm so to regulate the amount of fuel flowing in you have this screw here this is called the mixture screw there are other names for it as well but let's just say it's the mixture screw and this is sort of a tap so as you tighten the tab, then there is lesser petrol going in for the amount of air. And if you loosen it, then uh, more petrol goes in for the amount of air. So this controls the fuel-air mixture ratio. And then there is this choke lever here. So what is a choke? In the morning when you want to start the car, then you'll have difficulty because the engine is cold. Because you don't have enough petrol. Then what we do is we pull the choke lever and as you can see this valve starts closing if you can clearly notice that and so as the valve starts closing it creates an artificial blockage for air and so because there is not much air going and uh, the engine has to crank it starts sucking in the rest of the petrol that's present there and that's how a choke works but you may be wondering why do I have two valves over here see you have two valves over here but why why not a single valve the reason for this is very simple when you are driving slowly then you don't need much of fuel air mixture when you're cruising and uh, when you're accelerating a lot you need a drastic increase in the fuel air mixture and so when you're ideally cruising uh, I, uh, you're cruising then you're at idle and so there is only a smaller valve opening and uh, so you have less of petrol air mixture going and so you can control it precisely this smaller tap whereas if you had one big giant hole then even the slightest accelerator input will give you a huge difference in the air mixture 
and so your mileage will go for a toss and sometimes it becomes hectic in driving in the traffic but then you might be wondering how does it know how to in, uh, how to open this secondary valve how do you know that uh, at what times does this secondary valve open that the secondary accelerator valve opens via this this is called a vacuum pump what happens is as the vacuum starts building inside when the rpms increase then more air is being sucked in and so more vacuum is created as vacuum is created then it starts pulling the secondary valve let me show that to you by pulling in some air but that's not all you might be thinking that okay as the vacuum increases then it will open by itself but you have a blockage here that is this is the primary accelerator cable see uh, okay and uh, so if your primary accelerator cable is open for more than 40 or 50 percent only then are you giving it a chance for uh, by clearing the blockage so that the secondary accelerator valve can open okay and there is one more part that you need to know that is this this is called the accelerator pump what uh, it's a simple pumping mechanism as you press on the accelerator then this pushes a diaphragm which squirts some extra petrol into the chamber because when you press the accelerator you want instant response whereas in a carburetor theoretically the, some more petrol should go in and then because of that the engine rpm increases and so because of that some more petrol goes in and so it's a gradual process so if you want to speed up and get that instant response then you push the accelerator pump so this squirts some more petrol and so you get that sudden instant acceleration response and you might be wondering because there is a fuel pump here so fuel starts coming into the carburetor and so if I tune my mixture so that I don't want a lot of petrol where does the excess petrol go the answer is simple this is called the float and what this does is there is a small reservoir where the petrol is accumulated for the use in carburetor once this is filled then it starts floating on top of it and starts pushing this and uh, once you push this there is a needle which clo which restricts the intake it says no thank you that's enough for me and so whatever petrol comes in through here goes through this bypass valve uh, through this copper portion here and that goes through here and comes out through here this is the petrol return pipe and so once the pump starts working petrol pump it gives in petrol to the reservoir and whatever is left goes back right into the tank fuel tank